I'm Amanda Craig, a Resource Development Manager with United Way Oxford. We're here outside our local school today to talk to Southwestern Public Health about the Student Nutrition Program and how they help support over 11,000 students across Oxford County last year. So my name is Kelly Ferguson and I'm a registered dietitian at Southwestern Public Health and my role is to coordinate and support the student nutrition programs across Oxford County. The student nutrition programs operate at 37 schools across Oxford County and the goal of these programs is to help ensure that students are well fed and ready to learn at school. So the programs kind of operate in a variety of ways, but essentially they provide either a snack or meal, always including a vegetable or fruit and some other nutritious foods like protein or whole grains um, to ensure that students that are hungry at school have access to food. So the reason for these programs is that students can be hungry at school for a number of reasons. It can either be a food insecurity issue in the home, and we've certainly seen that throughout the pandemic as well, that food insecurity has become a big concern for many families. Uh, but it can also just be a, you know, a scheduling issue where kids are busy in the morning, they may not have time to get food on the way out the door, their bus might be very early. Um, so any reason that a kid is uh, hungry at school, the Student Nutrition Program is kind of there to support them and provide them with something to eat to sustain them through the school day. The Student Nutrition Program is a universal program, so the benefit of this is that all students have access to the Student Nutrition Program at school, and that means that a student that might need it hopefully doesn't feel that stigma in accessing the program because every student at school is participating. It's very common for all of the students to grab an apple from the snack program, um, so no one feels kind of singled out for doing that if they truly do need it. Um, and we know that all students can benefit from receiving extra vegetables and fruit and getting exposed to those awesome foods um, to develop kind of that lifelong healthy eating habit as well. Student nutrition programs are um, they have kind of numerous benefits. One is making sure that students are well fed so that they can get through the school day. Um, I'm sure you know yourself that hangry feeling where you can't really pay attention, you're distracted by hunger. We certainly don't want students experiencing that at school while they're trying to learn. So this program kind of fills that need. Um, but it also offers the opportunity for kids to expose themselves to vegetables and fruits and other nutritious foods at school um, to really get exposed. You know, we've seen examples at schools where we have kids lining up for the recipe for the lentil salad that was served. So there's experiences like that where they're exposed to things they might not get at home and that can develop those lifelong healthy eating habits. Student nutrition programs are also run by volunteers across Oxford County. In a typical school year we have actually over 400 volunteers across Oxford that support the programs and so the volunteers benefit because they see this they get the opportunity to see students benefiting from the program and they really build that school community and students benefit from that as well. They know that there's school community members who are supporting them and um, they get that interaction with the community as well. The student nutrition programs have had to adapt and pivot um, through the COVID-19 pandemic like many organizations has. So this started back in April of 2020 when we started the COVID Food for Families program in partnership with United Way Oxford. And through that program, we supported about 140 families with grocery gift cards and produce baskets throughout the summer into September of 2020. Um, and then we had school resume where the student nutrition programs in schools were starting back up. Um, they operated as best as they could with the restrictions um, that were you know, in place offering kind of prepackaged fruits and vegetables and other foods to students. So there was always food available at the schools um, throughout the school year when schools were running. The United Way at Oxford has been very supportive uh, of student nutrition programs and one of the main uh, benefits that we get is the funding to support food purchases. So the student nutrition program is funded by the Ministry of Community, Children and Social Services, but that funding is just kind of starter funding at about 12 or 14 cents a student a day. Uh, and we know with the cost of food, that's not really enough to provide the quality of food that we want um, and sustain programs throughout the school year. So funding from United Way Oxford really helps us to allow schools to, to provide nutritious foods, more vegetables and fruit, and to get their programs running all the way until the end of the school year to support students. Additionally, we benefit from partnership with the United Way Oxford uh, in collaboration, especially through the COVID-19 pandemic and supporting families uh, in various ways. It's been a great partnership for us.